Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Clarity for sure. So we have started this current ARD series in which we are going to solve some ARD related MCQs and these MCQs are really going to help you for your NABAD grade exam for 2025. So let's get started. Next question is, which of the following statements is or are correct with respect to Seed Village Program or Beach Gram Yojana? The program was launched by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare in the year 2014-15. It provides financial assistance for the distribution of foundation or certified seeds at 50% of co seed cost for all crops. And the program is a key component of the submission on seeds and planting material. So here uh, statements 1 and 3 are correct but statement 2 is incorrect and the answer is 1 and 3. Because the subsidy is 50% only for cereal crops and for other crops, that is for pulses, oil seeds, fodder and green manure crops, it is 60%. This was launched in 2014-15 and it's a key component of the submission on seeds and planting material. So the seed village program is mainly to in improve the quality of the seeds because as you all know, seed is the only input in agriculture uh, which can easily transform the efficiency of agriculture. And further information about the submission on seeds and planting materials is given and its components are also given. You can pause the video and go through them. Next question. Which of the following components are included under National Mission on Sustainable Agriculture? So, Rainfed Area Development, National Bamboo Mission, Soil Health Mission, Submission on Agroforestry. So, all these are the components of NAMSA. So answer is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Next question. Which of the following statements is or are correct with respect to National Mission on Sustainable Agriculture? So NAMSA derives its mandate from Sustainable Agriculture Mission, which is one of the eight missions that is that are outlined under National Action Plan on Climate Change. It was approved by the Prime Minister's Council on Climate Change in the year 2018. The mission focuses exclusively on irrigated areas to enhance the agriculture productivity. Integrated farming systems are promoted under NAMSA to ensure sustainable agriculture. So even if you don't know much about this scheme, you can easily eliminate statement 3. The mission focuses exclusively on irrigated areas because generally government policy do not directly only focus on the irrigated areas, but they are more focused on rain-fed area. So this statement becomes incorrect. And the second statement is also incorrect because it was approved in 2010 and it came into action in 2014. So here the answer becomes 1 and 4 only. So as you can see, it was approved in 2010 and it came into operation in 2014-15 and it draws its ma uh, mandate from the Sustainable Agriculture Mission of National Action Plan on Climate Change. And I have given the details about the components also. You can go through them. So before we move further, I would like to tell you that the NABAD mentorship for 2025 has been started. So we provide live classes, uh, access to the recorded lectures as well. We provide revision quizzes after every lecture. We provide the test series weekly power play quizzes, descriptive answer writing guidance and interview guidance and many more. For further details, please check out the website www.c4scourses.in and if you have any query, please drop a mail at c4scourses at gmail.com. You can also access the free trial lesson. Just go to the website, register yourself and you can watch the free trial lesson and decide for yourself if you like the lecture, you can by the mentorship. So moving forward, next question is, which of the following statements with respect to the submission on agroforestry under NAMSA is or are correct? The submission on agroforestry promotes the planting of trees along with crops to increase farmers' income and ensure environmental sustainability. So this mission on agroforestry has been launched in 2018-19 and submission on agroforestry supports the development of institutional mechanisms for agroforestry including capacity building and awareness programs. So here statement 1 and 3 are correct. Statement 2 is incorrect. The answer becomes option D. So this submission on agroforestry was launched in 2016-17 under 
national mission on uh, under namsa that is national mission for sustainable agriculture and it goes with the tagline har med par ped so here the farmers were encouraged to grow trees along with the crops wherever uh, there is place in, on the field bunnies or wherever the field was vacant so that the farmers can get additional income opportunities and in turn it will help in improving the soil organic matter and help with the climate change next question which of the following statements with respect to the insim are is or are correct so what is insim it is initiative for nutritional security through intensive millets promotion so insim was launched under national food security mission in 2013 it provides financial assistance for seed production post harvest processing units and awareness campaigns and the scheme provided financial incentives for hybrid millet seeds and high, high yielding varieties so here statements 2 and 3 are in, are correct statement 1 is incorrect because insim was not launched under nfsm but it was launched under rkvy rashtriya krishi vikas yojana so the in, uh, insim is a program to promote intensive millet cultivation and consumption in india it was launched in 2011 12 under rkvy and it was launched by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare and its goal is to increase the production of millets to generate the demand for product based on millets show improved production and post harvesting technology so in millet production the post harvest technology is become very important because processing of the millets is very cumbersome and generally farmers do not go for the production of millets because of this major constraint so this is about insim i have provided additional information as well you can go through it so that is it for today guys i hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching